Hello there, Maverick Traders. This is Imri, and welcome to this Trading View tutorial. In this video, I'll be covering how you can create your very own indicator templates in Trading View. Now, the good news is that you can do this even if you have a free account. The bad news is that if you have a basic subscription to Trading View, i.e., a free uh, subscription, you will only be able to create one template and you'll be limited to three indicators that you can have on the price chart. However, if you have any of the paid versions, then you'll have access to more indicators at once and you can create an infinite number of indicator templates. All right, so we're going to start off by creating our very own indicator templates from scratch. I'm going to do two templates here. So the first template, uh, let's see, we're, we're going to go over to this tab at the top that's called Indicators, Metrics, and Strategies. I'm going to click on that to open this menu here. And you can see I have a number of different indicators that are quote unquote my favorites just so that I have easy access to them. Uh, now in this case, let's say we want a couple of moving averages. So we're going to click on the moving average um, icon here twice. And let's say we also want the parabolic SAR. So we're gonna click on the parabolic SAR down here. And let's say finally we want the relative strength index, the RSI. So we're gonna click on that once. And then once I've got all the indicators that I want, I'm going to click the X button here. And now I have my indicators on the price chart. Now, the thing is these indicators are in their default settings. So I've got two nine period moving averages, for example, which doesn't really make much sense. Um, let's say I wanna change this nine period moving average to a 20 period moving average. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click on the little gear icon which brings up the settings menu for this moving average. I'm then going to change the length of the moving average from nine to 20. Uh, if I wanna change the color of the moving average, you know, I can click on style and, and let's say, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it as blue for now. And we're then going to click on okay. I'm now going to go to my second moving average. Uh, it doesn't make sense to have two blue moving averages after all, it's hard to tell them apart. I'm gonna click on the settings button again I'm going to change the input from nine to 50 for this example. I'm then going to click on style and I'm going to then click on the blue button here and change it from blue to red. So now I've got my 20 and 50 period moving averages. I like the parabolic SAR, but having it be blue kind of clashes with the other colors as well. So I'm just gonna again, click on the settings button and I'm going to change it from blue to black. Uh, and if I don't like the little, um, stars, I can change it to circles if I want. It doesn't really matter to me, um, but it's good to know that you do have this level of customization if you so choose. And I'm happy with the RSI uh, indicator the way it is. I don't really need to make any changes there. So my next step is going to be to save this template. So I'm going to click on this button with the four little squares here next to the indicators tab. It's called indicator templates. I'm going to click on save indicator template and I'm just going to label this template as template one brackets moving averages PSAR RSI and then click on save. All right, so now if I want to remove all the indicators so that we can create our second template, I'm going to right click anywhere on the price chart and then go down to where it says remove indicators and click on remove indicators. I'm left with the clean price chart once again. All right, so this time we're gonna click on the indicators button again, but we're going to use Bollinger Bands and we're going to use the awesome oscillator as well. There we go. Um, and finally the parabolic SAR once more. Going to click out of the Indicators tab, just going to change the color of the parabolic SAR once again, changing it to black, and I'm happy with how everything else is looking. So now I'm going to click on this uh, little button here, the indicator templates button, click on save indicator template, and to label this one template two, Bollinger Bands, PSAR, and Awesome Oscillator. Click on save. Um, so now if I wanted to change between these two templates, I just click on the indicator templates button and I'll go down to where it says template one and I'll have template one and then I can quickly switch to template two if I so choose. So this way you can have multiple different indicator templates 
if you have a paid version of TrainingView in order to be able to quickly switch between different tools as on an as needed basis. Uh, as you can see, I've got a number of my own templates here. You know, so I'm just gonna delete these two that we made. You can also delete templates. And now I can easily switch between these different indicator templates for myself. Uh, and as always, if you wanna remove everything, you just right click on the chart, click on remove indicators, and there you go. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or comments, if you'd like to know more about prop trading and Maverick is a prop trading firm, please leave a comment below. We'll get back to you. Thanks everyone. Take care. See you next time.